sekali pak Look at them go! Hey, look at that beautiful fish. <laughs> A Fraser Fishing Adventures took us right there. Yeah, baby! Stay tuned for some more of these. Halley butts! <laughs> Halley butt. Good morning. Welcome to another additional Realistic Outdoors. What we have in store for you today, you've been waiting for, you're really going to like. We're going to do some multi-species, multi-lakes, rivers and stream fly fishing. We're going to use the same technique in all the areas and see if we can get a whole variety of different fish. So stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy it. What is fly fishing? Is it an art? Is it a science? Or is it a way of life? I believe that it is all three. And just like the fly, I am caught up in the power of the river. Fly fishing is not an escape from life often a deeper immersion into it. I remember wanting to go fly fishing so bad as a kid and I didn't have fly rod and reel. My dad used to go to the Stalaco which was classified fly fishing catch and release only and I begged and begged for him to take me. He took me, of course I didn't have a rod and reel so I got to watch which was pretty awesome at the time. But as I got bored of watching and foraging around the bushes, I found a broken fly rod. The tip was broken, maybe six inches in. I made do. I asked my dad for some leader and a fly, and I participated. And I caught my first fish there, and I was pretty much hooked on fly fishing. I've been pretty much hooked on fly fishing since, however, some injuries and life changes. But now I'm back. I'm really enjoying fly fishing again. When we take the road less traveled, when we push ourselves to be better, every technique practiced, every part of the trip planned, 
Every step we take brings us that much closer to our goal. And when that goal is achieved, that is when the excitement starts. These grayling are sure a pleasure. They are sure a pleasure to catch. They are one of my favorite fly fishing fish. Just look at that. That is unbelievable. And on a dry fly to boot. I'm gonna let this one go and uh, let's hope that this smokeless air is helpful for these fish out here and we'll catch some more. Goodbye, sweet fish. There you go. Oh, take a little rest. All right, you take your time. They are so beautiful. There's so much blue in their fins. Just amazing fish. And now it's time for Realistic Tips. Brought to you in part by Forest Power Sports, located in Prince George and Quinell. Here are some of the items you're going to need to make the modified Royal Coachman. Must add R50 size 8, some golden pheasant tippet, some peacock curl, some red floss, some white bucktail, and some hackle. Okay, this isn't a beginner video. I'm going to assume you know how to tie on some line, so get your line tied on there good. And get a bunch of wraps on there, and then take a piece of your golden tippet and tie that in there really well. Again, I'd just like to point out, this is a high speed fly. It's one I use in the fast moving waters, so I'm not really particular about how awesome it looks. It's not for show, it's for fishing and go. So I wanna make these as fast as possible and I can tie them in four minutes. After the first fish eats it, it's pretty much looks like this anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. So now I tie in my peacock curl and trim off the ends. Okay, as far as measurements go, from behind where the wing is going to start, I like to separate them into thirds. The back third for peacock hurl, the center for my floss, and another third for the front of the hurl. Okay, I'm just going to get this floss tied in here now. You can use any kind of color here. I use um, some green sometimes. I call it my Irish Coachman. Um, I also have some gold. I call it the Rich Coachman. And you can change out the colors for whatever your needs are, but I like red for fast moving rivers. Now I'll just tie up the front piece of the hurl. And I didn't have to retie because I used long pieces and just carried them through but you can use um, short pieces and tie in a new piece right here, no big deal. Okay, I'm just getting the peacock curl tied off and uh, then I'm gonna trim the end pieces. There they go. Now I'm gonna use my hair stacker and my bucktail and stack the hairs so they're all nice and even at the end. Put in a bunch here for my wings. Then I run some wraps behind it to keep the wings standing up. Some people like them forward, some people like them swept back. I kind of like mine standing straight up. Once it's tied in, I go ahead and snip off the excess and uh, clean up a couple of the odd bits there. A couple more wraps in behind and then I'm going to tie in my hackle. I'm doing a figure eight knot. I've separated the, the 
bucktail a little bit so I can have two separate wings. Not necessary, but in this case I just went ahead and did it anyway just to show you. And now I'm just gonna tie this hackle in. put a couple wraps of hackle behind the wing and a couple in the front. And a couple quick once overs to secure it in place. And then I'm gonna give it a bunch of wraps and snip it off. Clean up a tiny bit of the excess. And you're certain welcome to use a pick and clean up the hackle and straighten out the wings as you see fit. But after I have this tied, um, I'm pretty much ready to fish. Like I said, after the first fish bites it, it turns kind of like this anyway. So, and I know they catch fish second, third, fourth time. So I might as well not spend too much time worrying about it. So now I'm going to just do a whip finish with four loops on there. And once that's pulled tight, I just snip off the tag end. Just a quick trim of a couple pieces. Then I'm going to throw on some head cement. And I'm going to call this one finished. I'll probably give it a squeeze and a pinch here and there, but um, I'm pretty much done this fly. So I just wanted to show you what a high-speed modified Royal Coachman looks like. Again, um, good luck doing it if you're gonna follow along. And uh, enjoy. Just like all good things, eventually they must come to an end. This adventure, multi-day, multi-species, with lots of fish, lots of action, but it's gonna end now. We're starting to pack up. So I hope you guys will join us on another adventure and I really hope you loved what you've seen today. I'm Scott Stewart from Realistic Outdoors.